Can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. Yeah, you look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. No Mrs. Taylor waiting in port, Jacob? I'm surprised. Don't be. Easier that way. Cerberus keeps you mobile. Aside from guarding you for two years. Not the worst job I've had, that's for sure. Where are you going with this? Just making sure I won't get my ass shot off if I make a move on you. Well, I wasn't expecting that, Commander. Shepard, I haven't looked at you that way. I, I mean, I've looked, sure, but not seriously. An option, just not one I take. Okay. <laughs> now that I sound like an idiot, what I mean is, I won't disrupt the ship with this. Well, I'm thinking about it, Jacob. As far as I'm concerned, that's enough to get us uh, moving. That's all it takes, huh? I'm just along for the ride. If you're lucky. All right, Shepard. You want to grab a drink sometime, maybe talk some more? We'll see where it goes. That might seem slow, but one nighting the commander is a quick way to get airlocked. I should get back to work. Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. I'd like that, Shepard. Been some rough running so far. Feels good to put a lid on my past and focus on what's important. Our mission. What it means. You. You're hitting me in a way I wasn't expecting. I won't let old wounds get in the way of that. So you sure you're good with the way things turned out? I said so. What are you getting at? You're so hardened that you can't even acknowledge what your father did? Never said it didn't affect me. I just don't carry it around. He shaped who I am, but I'm more than that. I want you around because you're a soldier, too. You gotta get it. All that weight just isn't worth carrying. You're too close to see how it affects you. I would be too. Well, maybe that's more about you. Out of all of us, you're the one who could probably most use a place to vent. So, Shepard, how about we turn it around? What are you carrying? What do you need to get rid of? Two years changes a hell of a lot, you know? I don't blame people for thinking I was dead, but it's only been a few weeks for me. Rough. Someone dies on you, they stay dead. But like with my father, you keep running into people who seem like they've just changed. And I'm still the same. I feel sorry for those other people, Shepard. Know why they all changed? They lost you. I get how hard that would be. You know what, Jacob? I think we need each other. I know I need you. Okay, you want to know something that gets to me? You. That enough? 
You're very good at what you do, Shepard. When this mess is over, you and I need some time. If you're lucky, Jacob. <laughs> Commander. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. You impressed the hell out of me, Shepard. We might actually get through this because of you. Keep it up, I may volunteer for fewer suicide missions. Haven't been this fired up in a long time. It's all you. All of it. What are you saying, Jacob? Is it time to move things a little faster? With you, there's dead and red line, and me in the middle. I'm not big on words. Talking should be pointless. When I look at you, you'll know how I feel. Doubt I could hide it at this point. Where would I be without my crew, Mr. Taylor? Yeah, so maybe you could drop that Mr. Taylor business. Make me. How do you push my buttons and make me like it? I'll see you soon enough, Shepard. For now, we've got a job to do. Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. Figured we were good, Shepard. Not going too hard, not pushing. There's something I should be concerned about? We've got a good thing going here, something I'd like to see through. Hope you feel the same. Don't be concerned, Mr. Taylor. Just keep doing what you're doing and we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. You're teasing something. We've got a good thing going. Save the drama for the collectors. You're lucky you're so damn you. League of your own. Shepard? Look at this. Like sneaking into the captain's quarters. Heavy risk. But the prize. I was wondering when you'd show. What's your intention, Jacob? To give the collectors every kind of hell I can. Suicide or not. But until then, I want all the time I can get. Win. Lose. Doesn't matter. I want you. Sounds like you better make every minute count, Mr. Taylor. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. I trust you're happy, Jacob? No words to cover it, Shepard. Promise you this. When we're done, you and I are gonna take some time. Hope you feel the same. Don't be concerned, Mr. Taylor. Just keep doing what you're doing and we'll be fine. You're lucky you're so damn you. League of your own. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. 
Not after I got my own squad killed. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you, and we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. Got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. And damn, saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Uh, are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not... Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. I don't want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case, fighting the Collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. You know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in this screwed-up galaxy. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes. But never uncomfortable. So when should I book the room? I'd wait, if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible, and take that last chance to find some calm just before the storm. 
You know me, I always like to save her the last shot before popping the heat sink. Wait, that metaphor just went somewhere horrible. I'll let you get back to work. Right, because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. You got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam, but I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some, uh, research and figure out how to, you know... Okay, that sounded bad. Hey, I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your fringe, so... Your, um... Hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully, that's not offensive in human culture. Wow, consider me seduce, smooth talker. Now shut up and stop worrying. I, I just... Uh, I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC... What happened with Sidonis? I want something to go right. Just once. Just... Hey, I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your fringe, so... Your, um... Hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully that's not offensive in human culture. Crap. I knew I should have watched the vids. Tell me a line here, Shepard. Calm down, Garrus. You're worrying too much. And talking too much. I, I just... Uh, I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC. What happened with Sidonis. I want something to go right. Just once. Just... Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppral Syndrome. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt her ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, 
this won't affect my performance. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... A laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. Friend, huh? That's a start. A start? That's... <laughs> intriguing. I will always be here to talk. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Maybe I haven't been as upfront as I should be. I'm here for you, Thane. Whatever you need. You... you are very kind. Thank you for listening, Siha. I think my translator just glitched. What did you call me? Siha. Someday I'll tell you what it means. Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. I've been thinking about you. And I, you. Will you hear my confession, Siha? Last time we talked like this, you said you'd explain what Siha means. I need to explain myself to you first. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. But I met another Siha. Few are privileged to meet even one. You still haven't told me what a Siha is. One of the warrior angels of the goddess Arashu. Fierce in wrath, a tenacious protector. I confess, I've come to care for you. Perhaps I'm being foolish. We are very different. I'm not sure we know each other well enough to call it love. But I feel something for you too. Something more than friendship. I've never felt affection for another species. I'm not sure what to do now. We'll just have to figure it out. I look forward to the memories. 
Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you? You are well? No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I spent ten years dead. I understand the feeling. Strange that I should only reawaken now, when there is so little time left. Thing. See, uh, I... I have known I will die for many years. I've tried to leave the galaxy better than I found it. You've helped me achieve more than I thought possible. We've righted many wrongs. I've spoken to my son. I should be at peace on the eve of battle. Stop. Don't give me a speech. I'm ashamed. I've worked so hard, meditated and prayed and done good deeds, atoned for the evils I've done, prepared. I consider my body's death and a chill settles in my gut. I'm afraid, and it shames me. Bane, be alive with me tonight. <laughs>